Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Weirdo. Uh, day three, we are going from Little Harbor to Two Harbors. I think it's like five and a half miles, six miles, something like that. Straight up halfway and then straight down the other half. So uh, we'll say goodbye to Little Harbor here. Little Harbor was awesome. Shark Harbor. Yeah, Shark Harbor. Uh, it was awesome. We had a great night last night. So hopefully we'll have a good day today. So we will check in. Mile 19 is just outside the campsite. So we will check in there. That's Oh, uh, happy birthday to our youngest son. He turned 27 today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Ooh. you. Happy birthday to dear tater bug. We, um, we don't have any cell service, so uh, hopefully when we get to two harbors, we'll have cell service. So I can give him a sh uh, call. But anyway, happy birthday, Taylor. Okay, so we're cutting through Little Harbor. Apparently there's a, a group called the Caballeros. We we're talking to one of the guys and uh, they kind of help take care of part of the island. And once a year they get to ride horses or something. So, uh, oh yeah, we're coming up onto a lot of horses. Hello. All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, there's horses. So apparently, once a year or something, they let the guys ride uh, ride horses through here. So um, they're getting ready to do that. Oh, there's a buffalo sitting up there. He's watching those horses. He's watching the horses. That's interesting. All right, Calia Trail. We are back on it. So we're starting the first of many ascents. Um, I think they're calling for mid to lower 70s today. A lot of cloud cover so far, which is nice. Hopefully we get this most of the day. We'll get to the top of this hill and get a bigger shot of uh, this Caballero group. It's a big group. We were, <laughs> we were coming down the hill from Shark Harbor and they actually had a guy uh, playing Amazing Grace on the bagpipes. He was dressed up in the kilt the whole the whole nine yards. And it's like, geez, I hope this isn't an omen. But there's kind of the kind of the group. Interesting. It was a very interesting stay in Little Harbor. As soon as I shut this thing off. We came to mile 19, so we are a quarter of a mile short of halfway. So here we go. Still ascending. I keep thinking of things to uh, inform people in case anybody watches these things. We left at right around 7.30. We leave about 7.30. Yep, 7.30, so just to give you a uh, uh, feeling of uh, time. And we are going real slow because it's a rather short day and we're in no hurry, so. This is a bad scenery. Uh-uh, it's beautiful over there. <laughs> we have... Uh, way over there. I know, nuts, isn't it? This is a uh, one little flat flat respite here. Wow. <laughs> you take them when you can get them. 
Looks like we'd be going up this hill up here, hey? Yeah, okay. All right. Well, there's three miles of uphill, and we're probably two tenths of a mile from the 20 mile marker, so. Woohoo! Well, it, you know, if that, if not farther, but whatever. 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 Coming up on mile marker 20. Bada bing, bada boom. What are your thoughts on mile marker 20? Nice. That all you got to say? Come on, man. Yeah, no hill? You can do better than that. Uh, mile marker 20. Uh, oh, there's the, here's the crater thing where part of the trail washed away. We can take a look see at that. I'm sure everybody wants to see that. Not near as much buffalo poop, although that's a big one, on this side as the other side. Wow. Look at that. Beautiful. It's hard to tell here, but yeah, looks like uh, we had a little island cave in. I'm not getting too close. I've come too far to fall into a ravine to be washed out to the ocean all right moving on uh still between mile marker 20 and 21 but uh we gotta go up that big old hill right there catalina island drink it up i think in translation it means whale's vagina for all you anchorman fans all right, Speedy McSpeed, McSpeederson is ahead of me. I gotta go catch up. You're taking my picture. Why? I look the same as I did. Well, we're taking a little break here. I know you can't tell on this, uh, based on this camera, but we gotta go up to the very top of that, that little knob up there and we're gonna if we can if we can get to that little shade shelter up there we are going to stop but we are in no hurry to get there so sun's coming out but there's a nice breeze coming in off the ocean so still pretty nice out here all right we're at a little shade shelter at the top of the the big climb out of uh, little harbor 1200 feet we did it in three point what one miles that's from shark our campsite at shark harbor 3 .4. huh 3.4 but our campsite was 0.4 from the start okay so probably three miles that makes sense because the map said three miles uphill now it should be three miles downhill um i assume we're going over there we'll find out but man we are we were I don't know you can't tell but we were way down in one of those coves last night so that was some uh, pretty heavy duty <laughs> uphill the last little bit but we made it so having a stinger, having a stinger. We are at mile marker 22. Uh, two Harbors is just a little bit past mile marker 24, so we got two, two and a half miles to go. And uh, I mean, really, the views are just, everybody says this is the most scenic part of the whole hike. And They are correct. 
All right, back at it. Okay, we uh, we just came up a really steep, steep little hill. It wasn't very far, but it was like straight up. You see this little tower there. But since we got up to the top, ta-da! It's two harbors. So now we begin our descent into two harbors. And we be chilling the rest of the day. Mount marker 23. We got a little over a mile left to go till we get to two harbors. So we will see you there. All right, walking into two harbors, you got this thing over here on one side, then you got two harbors itself on the other side. It must be some private thing over there. How would you characterize today's hike? Um, a lot of uphill, but you know, that's the story of the hike. Yeah, not as many up and down, up and down, up and downs, just a big up and then a couple of small ups and some downs. But lengthwise, it's the shortest hike of the bunch. All I know is we're going to go down here and get our shower on, right? I hope it's not not like um, the airport. When we got to the airport uh, yesterday, the uh, the grill was broken. They had a guy had a guy coming out to fix it, so the grill was out. But still, huh? Yeah, I know I already said that, but. I'm kind of, when we get around this bend, you can see two harbors better, so I'm really filling time. So if I'm being redundant on some stuff, sorry, but there's a little trail sign. Hopefully when we make this turn, you'll get a good picture of, uh, two harbors you won't have to hear me droning on and on and on a lot of big shipping ships just setting out in the ocean seen those in a while one thing about this half this part of the trail it's really dusty we were on a lot of uh, main roads so a lot of dust get around this curve we're doing going downhill right now okay that's maybe a better picture of the town you got the boats out there man there's a huge boat down there I think that would be a ship or a yacht or something. Anyway, we'll sign off till we get down in it. Okay, we're in two harbors. That uh, little private looking thing, that is the Isthmuth Yacht Club. And here we are 
trying to find our way to the restaurant in the showers. We're assuming we take a right. We'll see. Okay, we are at uh, our campsite at Two Harbors. You can see there's the town over there. So we had to climb up that little incline and then come back down to get to here. You can see there's some of the other campsites up on the hill there. So this is a uh, Campsite one, campsite two, three, and four are right here on this uh, on this little ledge here. So you got a uh, little beach running across there. So just to give you an idea of, there's the other campsites got some way up there but these four are right right here on the on the end okay so it's uh i don't know what time it is probably eight o'clock here at uh, two harbors campsite uh got the fire going you can see the if you see the lights that's two harbors town over there you got the boats out here you got a few boats out there but yeah this is living so tomorrow we got uh tomorrow's a big day we got to go up a uh, silver peak trail which is uh, 1,700 foot elevation. It's going to be pretty tough. So as soon as this fire dies down, I'm gonna hit the bed early. Now, anybody who's uh, planning, uh, this, this particular campsite, Two Harbors number one, great campsite. But uh, there's a bit of a walk uphill and back downhill to get here. So uh, just uh, keep that in mind. If... No shade. Oh, well, there's no shade. There was a lot of wind when we uh, set up tent, set up our tent about uh, three or four o'clock today. Um, it's the first time we've had to use stakes and uh but now it's it's calm it's it's really nice so just the the walk in and really the um the walk out of here with our packs i mean it is a very steep grade but uh you know you do what you gotta do so we will uh check in in the morning and uh we've only got uh one more one more day well two days and one night left so Good night.